Viewer discretion advised. Hello, everybody. Onyx out here coming to you live once again from Rocky City Gamer Studios. Folks, we're going back in time. Deep back in time. Like the 1400s back in time. We're going to be checking out some Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's a pretty cool uh, game, really story driven. And uh, I enjoyed it tinkering around with it just to see so uh that's what we're gonna check out today uh as soon as i can get the screen up here so there's uh there's no webcam today not gonna ruin the game with the webcam in the way um so uh hope you guys don't mind i'm still in my pajamas anyway hell y'all don't want to see me in my pajamas anyway let's go ahead and kick it off kill the music here real quick and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new game I'm gonna start play line number two just in case something goes wrong and like I said this is very story driven uh, it's gonna take us a little while to get into some of the action and I'm gonna try it with controller today as opposed to mouse and keyboard like I did initially so um, we'll see how that goes might be interesting. Y'all might see me get my ass whooped. So like I said, this is the early 15th century. Around the Holy Roman Empire time, so. There's no magic in this one. Just regular old, old timey shit. Hey Buddha, welcome brother. Hopefully my frames don't take too big of a hit on this one. I tinkered with the graphic settings a little bit. Thanks for hosting there, Eric. I appreciate that. Now, I'm not going to talk over the uh, cutscenes too terribly much. I want you guys to get the, the full effect of this game and really, uh, really enjoy the, the storyline that's going to be laid out for us here. Hey, Cricket. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Thanks for hosting, Cricket. God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorching. <laughs> so this is really kind of a cross between a movie and a game. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? A blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening. All right, Cricket, Drinking I hope you have a good day at school. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. A quick clout round the ear should do it. The last smack there. get up there's work to be done i don't want to go to school <laughs> hey ryan welcome Ooh. get up or i'll come get you up you slug of egg hear that you'd better not vex him now get up quick your breakfast is on the table wait what's this have you been oh henry 
How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Mm. That's all, Mom, I promise. Just don't no fight. to me if you really do get hurt. Now get off, you rogue. I bet one thing's for sure. I bet his ass wasn't up all night long last night playing video games. <clears throat> what y'all think? Fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Well, we're gonna. I was with Bianca. We were um, talking. Talking, were you? That's what you call it, is it? Stop it, Ma. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And What's that's going on, Pro? character with a sword who's turned up in town recently. Starting it from the beginning here, brother. Not quite sure, though, why it doesn't seem to be showing my, uh, me sore fighting, don't you? my options here. What use would that be to me? Here. I'm not lying to you, Ma. All right, then, if you say so. I don't mean to pry, but you know your father takes a dim view of such things. Hmm. Yeah, we've got something odd happening here. I don't have any of my options to select here. Uh, not real... Good. Not quite sure what's calling that, causing that. Whole Cat 123 Tyler just subscribed over there on uh, on YouTube, I believe. Thank you so much for that. If you're watching over here as well. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them. This they shouldn't be hard to find. Hmm. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Text gets bugged. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see if we can't do that. Then we'll just restart it real quick. You know, if it can happen, it's gonna happen to me as soon as I go live with something. We'll just restart it. We'll just restart it. No biggie. It did just update right before I uh, started, so hopefully they didn't totally break that in this update. One moment, folks. At least you get to see all the credits here. Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. All right, let's skip that part so we can get on back into it, see if it'll let us. Continue where we left off here. Little bit of technical difficulties. Oh, son of a bitch. It started us on my old game where I was learning the ropes there. Didn't want to look like a total noob. I'm going to probably get my ass kicked, though, when I try to use the uh, controller for this combat that we're going to get into in a little bit, but... It is what it is.
All right, so we'll just skip this first part and let's see if we can get it. There morning. we go. What on earth did you get up to last night? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's see. So, I was sweating in the forge all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who's turned up in town recently. I was with Bianca. Do you want a blow by blow account of everything we did? What's this, an interrogation? All right, all right. Sorry, son. It's just that I worry about you. We'll be fine, Mom. Mom. But I'm not four years old. I know <coughs> how. You've grown up in front of my eyes. Hey, it's Rocket hard Ray. To get used to it. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. What's wrong with that? That's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was... with Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. Of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. So basically, moms back in the uh, 15th century were about the same <laughs> as they are now. Uh, all right, let's uh, see if we can get something to can eat. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Oh, I'm going to help myself. I'm taking all the shits I can take. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday, you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratsik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. I know. Hey, Eric. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. I guess we're going to be making the sword here in a little bit. All right, so let's get us some food. All the food we can get. I'm going to eat some of that. I'm going to take all this shit because, you know, Mom won't care. Mom won't care. Let's see if there's anything else we can get. You know, well, I don't know. I, I haven't done combat with it yet, so we'll see. It's a little more difficult to get it lined up on certain things like this. We're going to take all of this shit. Every bit of the food. Come on, damn it. I don't know, Eric. Don't know. Hadn't decided yet. You know, I just kind of stream whenever I can based on my, uh, oh, there's mom out there sweeping. I just kind of do whatever I can based on my time. But I do like trying some different things every now and then. All right, so one of the things that I didn't do 
Hey, Mom. One of the things I didn't do when uh, when I did a quick little playthrough on a short part of this earlier was I didn't take any of the stuff in here. But I think I'm going to now. I've been smoking reefer since the dark ages. There you go, bro. Now see, and it's saying that we're stealing, but this is our house. How are we stealing from our house, right? Can't lock pick anything yet. I'm gonna take all of this shit. It's our house, right? And this guy's a teenager, so. They eat a lot, right? Oh, wait. Cheese. We need the cheese. Can I not get the cheese? Oh, yes, I can. Some bread. Ah, that's good to know they're from. I just figure since I know the shit's going to hit the fan later, I might as well go ahead and get all this now. Hey, don't respawn. Okay. Gonna eat us a little bit more make sure we're good to rock and roll all right so let's see um all right that's the map i gotta figure out what the uh differences are between probably gonna have to do a combination of uh mouse and keyboard and uh And the controller here because it's you know kind of one of those things yeah we're gonna go beat his ass all right so we leveled up uh it looks like here can't take anything here uh looks like we can take we can take something down here in the uh strength stats can't take anything here yet. We got these little perk points that we can use. All right, let's uh, let's see. Can't remember exactly what some of these do. Yeah, the music's pretty good. It seems uh, seems to match the period real well. All right, well this sounds like the one we need to take here. All right, so we'll learn the stronghold perk. We have like zero in all this other stuff, so that'll be coming. All these different perks that we can start taking as we level up and learn different things. And uh, I mean, it's just tons and tons of things you can learn. All right, so let's uh, let's get out here. Figure out what my damn quest is here. All right. Um, so we know we got to go to our father. Um, we also have to go to the sword fighting lesson. So let's go check out what dad has to say here. What's going on, Matthew? Welcome to the stream, buddy. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? all right so uh, we've got the different you know little perks and things and there's you know you've got your strength your vitality speech persuasion stuff like that and we'll see how this works out sorry father i was taking a stroll and lost track of time 
Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. <laughs> How, my boy? When are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? With I'm the running out sword. of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you you're can You're a big manage. lad now. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure will be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasal. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. Can't forget no, the ale. Go anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Alright. So we're gonna head down here and uh, get some charcoal. Do a little collection job for the dad there. I think we're going to do the collection job first, of course. Let's go talk to this asshole. This should be interesting. Where's he at? I don't know where he is. If we can take his axe. Doo -doo. Nobody saw that. Huh. All right, Cricket, take it easy, man. Oh, there he is. There he is. What's going on, Kunesh? God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? I want some money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe Father for a lot more than just a <laughs> hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. All right. Let's see. Doesn't look like we're gonna do much here. Let's try this. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. Let's get a little smart ass with him. enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have to fight to like his that? ass. Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. All right, let's see. So, um... Right trigger, right button, left trigger. All right, I think I got it. We're gonna try it anyway. This will be my first combat with the controller prone, so we'll see how it works out. <laughs> oh shit! Come on, you fucker! Oh fuck! Oh, we're getting our ass kicked. Oh shit! All right, let me uh, let me just back around here a little bit. Shit! All right, I may have to swap back to the mouse and keyboard. Son of a bitch! All right, well, I'm coming back for you, you asshole. I'm gonna kick his ass here in a minute. 
me run back let mom patch us up real quick i beat him fine the first go round with the uh, mouse and keyboard but it's uh it's a good bit different with the controller i think i may have to do combat with mouse and keyboard let's go check in with her mom He's a oh, fucking whiner. Stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. Alright, well. Unfortunately, she's not teaching us how to do it. Let's see if we can get her is to that teach us. Alright, son. No, no well. So part of my problem is the uh, the controls don't respond quick enough with the controller like they did with mouse and keyboard. So I'm gonna swap to mouse and keyboard. And we're gonna go kick this guy's ass. Main reason I was trying to use the controllers, I still haven't gotten a keyboard that doesn't click like my mechanical one does. Let's see if we can fight this fucker again. Hey, dickhead. One beating wasn't enough for you, but you still owe my father. Now I'm about to fuck you up, son. You got nothing from me. Tell that to your old man. I'm telling you, lay one finger on me, and I'll have you thrown in jail. So can we just kick his ass? Oh yeah, fuck you, bitch. Huh? Come on, what you got? Oh shit. Oh shit, okay. He's getting the better of us again here. What the fuck? You bitch. Oh fuck, we're getting knocked out again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. All right, we're pretty beat up. Apparently, we're gonna have to run back to mom again. Good God Almighty, that's hilarious. What's going on, Tom? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Oh shit, I can't quite go that way. Damn, he whipped our ass pretty good. I'm still gonna beat his ass just to prove a point. Hey, glittery, thanks for hosting the stream there. I appreciate that. Patch me up again, Mom. Ma? Ah, Ma. Boy, he really messed us up this time. I'm hurt. Won't stop bleeding. Oh, no. Hey, Tom. Don't thanks for hosting, buddy. Like a baby. And show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Ma. Thank you, Mommy. All right, let's go eat us something else. How can we not eat straight out of the pot? I guess we ate all of it. Or well, we're not hungry enough, I guess. I'm going to go back and try to whoop his ass. It was so easy the first time. What the hell am I doing wrong this time? Got 
catch this fucker here in a second. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. What? What the hell are you doing? Oh, oh fuck, he's fucking us up again. Shit. Oh shit. Here we go. Getting another ass whipping. Come on, asshole. Come on, bitch. Oh. Oh shit. Here comes somebody else. Look at my health, holy hell. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked over here. Oh yeah, we got knocked the fuck out again. What's going on, Jakari? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Alright. I don't know that this is going to work out. Apparently, uh, I got lucky the first go-round. Go back, get patched up by mom, and then we're going to go sell his fucking shit. How embarrassing we keep having to limp back keep having to limp back to mom over here. Ma? Listen to him whine again. Ah, ma. I, I'm hurt. I won't stop bleeding. Oh now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, yeah. Ma. All right, looks like we're we're back. Let's wash off a little bit. Let's go into town and get the rest of this stuff done here. See if we get enough selling his axe to uh, to buy the charcoal. Hello. Good health to you, Henry. Howdy, ma'am. Hold on. I need to talk to you. Ready to sell some shit. Now, I can't haggle worth the shit, though. I can promise you that. Um, let's see. Wait, did we lose the axe? Didn't I pick his axe up already? I'm not seeing it. Yes, it's not here. Huh. That's interesting. I guess I lost it when uh, when I fought him. Let's go back and try to steal it then. Fuck, it's not there. I'll be down. Lord watch over you, Henry. God be with you. You too, sir. Let's trade some stuff. Yeah, I don't see it at all, man. It's not in weapons. Oh, there's the axe right there. It's stolen, though. Is this guy going to know it's stolen?
Let's hope not. All right, let's see. Let's try to trade him. Uh, let's trade him some beets. We don't need that. Trade him some carrots. See if he'll take all of this. There we go. All right, we want to buy some charcoal. Need 10 of those. All right. That looks good there. I'm just going to close the deal. I'm not going to haggle with him shit. All right. So we got the charcoal. Try to get the axe, hammer, and nails back another way while, while he's busy. Where's his shit? It is pretty nice, uh, Bale. I like it. eat his food asshole okay I don't have any lock picks oh, hello excuse me <laughs> oh god yeah I know prone it was just kind of the point I just wanted to beat his ass I might come back All right, let's see. What's happened here? Ah. Uh, I forgot this guy starts talking. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitor. Now even the Pope I'll be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsche spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Hey, prone. I appreciate that subscription there, buddy. Well, you Got you some uh, some twerking stormtroopers there. <laughs> Welcome, Ando. Too I love you. you Good to have you here, there, buddy. Him. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? <laughs> Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit. It made me think of that huge parlor manure. You know, the one right next to this freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? They got some deep thoughts Can't happening over it. here. <laughs> I'd rather talk to you, to be honest. But, doing some turds one day. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that, what Prone. Say, Definitely, Henry? buddy. But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Throwing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And 
It's our duty to defend the honor of our king. Yeah, I sling a little so, shit. How? Are you I don't mind it. Don't mind it at all. Oh, well. a little poop. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. All right. Here we go. We're over here to sling some shit on some dude's house. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. They don't look suspicious standing right there in front of this dude's wife at all. Wife and, a son. and that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you gotta lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. They do seem rather dumb. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right, and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the popes. He might have mentioned the Popes, too. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. All right. So she's headed off. Let's start slinging some shit. Here it goes, folks. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! <laughs> for king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! I bet they're gonna smell real good when they're you done. Bastard! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans! Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in the tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse hunts! I'll make those smiles off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. They did really good with the what voice acting on here? this game, too. Spizak, hanging out with this proxy Deutscher. Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! Knocked one of them assholes down. Oh shit, it's the police. Got away from the okay. popo. Oh, I didn't know you could tackle people. That's fun. What is it? Hey! 
You guys are too fucking slow. Yeah, I, th I think you're right there, Bale. They should be able to run a little bit better, which actually, I mean, as you as you go along, I'm pretty sure you, uh, you know, you increase all of that as you gain skills and stuff and level up. Alright, we need to wash ourselves off some. What'd you say? Hey. Alright. Let's see, we got the charcoal. Um, we need to... Uh, we need to get some beer. What else did we have here? Let's see. Sword fighting lesson we need to do. The cross guard we need to get. We need to buy some ale. Hi. Let's go see if we can. I want to team up and whoop this guy's ass. Girls is home. Can I not hit this chicken? There we go. There we go. Let's get us some chicken while we're at it. I don't know how to cook it, but we're gonna get it. Oof. He's gone. My girls are home. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us but throw in a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, these boys are trouble. Definitely trouble. All right. Hey, Eric, thanks for hosting, buddy. I appreciate that. All right, so we still have to uh, get our sword fighting lesson, uh, pick up the sword uh, cross guard at the castle, and buy some ale. I'm going to do the uh, sword fighting first. I still want to kick this guy's ass just for the principle of it. See around here. Oh, okay, cool, Larry. Get another one of his chickens. Bastard. He don't want to pay up. We'll just kill his chickens and shit. Alright, so where's the guy we're supposed to talk to? I think it's this fella over here. Hey, Pip. Yeah. Do you want to learn something? No. I don't. I do. Teach me how to sword fight. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when her son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I, feel like I, don't belong I still notice I get a little bit of frame world. drop, the world even though I dropped the graphic world. settings a little bit. Spoken like a man. And it's intermittent, though. Today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Let's do it. Yes. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as you. Watch 
<laughs> you walked by me, asshole. Alright, so like I was saying, I notice I get some frame drops in some of these cutscenes and stuff. It seems to do fine in the actual game itself. It's just in some of the cutscenes I notice it. I may drop the graphic settings just a tad bit more. Y'all ready to get our sword fighting on? Waiting on this slow ass to get here. Where's he at? Good lord. Hey, Em. Alright. Let's get our sword training on. So, can we get started? Yes, we can. We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. All right. All right. Let's do it. Nice. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon All as right, you land let's one do one, it. Follow it with another. Looks like we got our training out of the way. All right, that's enough. I don't know about you. All right, we did our uh, our sword tutorial there. Did much better with that than I did with the fist fighting. I think my problem was I forgot to use right click more often, which is the uh, less intensive swing. So now we just got to get the cross guard and the ale. Let's see if we can get the cross guard first. Then we'll go get some ale. He did say he wanted it cold when we got back, so we'll we'll try that. I do wish I could run further though. I, I'm looking forward to when I can level some of that up. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? So polite. I don't know why we would start telling on the fella in the tavern there, but it's one of the I've options. Let's the just tavern. do it. The Deutsch was saying all kinds of shit about how Sigismund should be king. That bastard. 
One day he'll get his teeth knocked down his throat if he doesn't shut up. Father sent me. We're forging a sword Let's get the, uh, him, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard in grip. The cross guard Father there. has them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? <laughs> ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Then we sell all that shit we stole from our mom. <laughs> Alright, let's go get us some, uh... Some ale for the dad there. I do like how you can just interact with anybody for the most part. They don't always say a whole lot, but... talk to him again see what he says One beating wasn't enough for you but you still owe my father you'll get nothing from me tell that to your old man I'm telling you lay <laughs> one finger on me and I'll have you thrown in jail I think I'm gonna try to fight his ass again though I don't know I don't really feel like getting locked up but I think he needs an ass whipping what is it? Hey, watch it. Mm. Folk these days. Jesus, look where you're going. What is it? Yeah, fuck it. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to slow us down from the next stage here. We're going to go ahead and get the ale and get on back. Pick up the chicken there. I didn't tour down here before. Go see Bianca. What the fuck? Okay, well, I can't go in that way. What the hell is happening here? Not letting me in the damn door. There we go. Need help. What are you doing? Hey Bianca, what's up? Oh Good shit, my phone. My lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. Of course, we got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? <laughs> the Deutsch is mouthing off again. Apparently, that's the talk of the town right now. We'll just keep rolling with it. He's a good customer, but when it comes to politics, he's unbearable. The number of times I had to throw him and the others out so they wouldn't start brawling. Well, I'd say he's an exceptional forum today. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Yeah, we gotta get that cold ale. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> You can pay me back this evening. Oh, you know oh, it, girl. Question. Here you go. And this evening, I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, oh, isn't he uh, just a little way, that poor boy? looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya. I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. 
I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Well, let's see it then. Be? Your favorite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. That's how they had so many kids back then. Sounds like that's all they do is get it on. Let's get it on. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take any of this stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. Anybody gonna see us? Nope. Nobody saw us. Let's just close this door too. And this one. Get us a few more groceries here. Oh, nothing in there. I guess we cleaned that out, didn't we? Why is it not letting me go in some places? It's kind of weird. It's almost like my character's too big for some things. See, I can't can't go through the door either. Super strange. I don't get it. I can't walk through any damn doors. Holy hell. Maybe I shouldn't have shoplifted. What the fuck is happening? I'm stuck. Motherfucker. You ever had that happen to you, Prone? You get stuck in shit? <laughs> what the fuck? Crouching doesn't help. seem to be helping here. Huh. Yeah, I tried sprinting too. That didn't seem to work. Greetings, Henry. Hello, Bianca. What the fuck? It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> okay, there we go. Jesus Christ. It's a good thing I wouldn't get my ass kicked in there. Alright, so I think we've got everything we needed to do. We just need to uh, go back to the forge. Holy shit. Alright. Take the goodies back to father here. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. I do like how they don't just hold your hand on the quest though. You have to kind of figure it out yourself. I mean, like they tell you your basics and then you kind of got to go from there. I wish I could get her to teach me how to bandage myself up because I have a feeling that's going to be needed later on. you are Henry father's been asking for you I just hope you've done everything he told you to it's all taken care of mother I'll go straight to him yeah we got it fixed up give him his stuff here uh. 
About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I sure did. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal do for us. Here we go, folks. Let's see what the sword looks like. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. Oh, the popo. -po. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. Maybe. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the king. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Uh-oh. Look me in the eye. Do you understand? I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. <coughs> so Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. No, we don't want to be a you thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry. If you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, My character does seem to get his ass into some trouble, doesn't he? <laughs> I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Yeah, you don't want to slip on that, do Good. you? Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the garb. You guys didn't know you were going to get a blacksmith lesson today, did you? That comes free with the stream. No additional charge. Father, why did you leave Prague? <laughs> Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? You remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose life is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? He 
give it here. And we'll put it all together. There she is, folks. That's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Henry, are you all right? <laughs> I think I already stole those. I'm not sure. We'll go make sure. It's supposed to be a... Ch oh, no, I don't think I did get anything out of here. Nope, I sure didn't. All right, let's take all this. Make sure there's no more food. Take Teresa her nails. They're not Lee Press on nails, though. Here are those nails those you wanted. Nails and don't keep Thanks. Waiting. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. That will do. Anyway, go and get those you. damn nails. I'll be on my way. I got it. The soil is truly beautiful. Oh, Lord. Fine lass, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsman. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skill, friend. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword <laughs> to a commoner? try it. Oh yeah, we need more practice with the sword. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Sman? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Hey, Slaughter. Welcome to the stream. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. Going well, buddy. Going well. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Yes, sir. It's been an honor, Sage. Have a safe journey to Stasai. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it 
could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green and the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Oh, shit. Weapons incoming. Listen to me now. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry, and what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Reginald. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. He owes me. I already got everything out of the house. <coughs> Henry run. I wish it let me get in on the fight. I'd probably get my ass kicked, but Yeah, boot it is. It's uh it's a good cross between a movie and a game. The early parts of it is more movie than game, but mm. rather brutal right there. All 
right, we got the sword. We've got to get to Townburg. Warn them what's coming. <laughs> run, bitch, run. You're right. So I, I wish we had time to explore some of this stuff, though, you know? Alright. Quick little tutorial on the riding there. Yeah, I, I want to try that. How do I get my sword out? There we go. All right. Yep. It's not gonna work, but. Fuck! I can't figure out how to get my fucking sword out. Oh shit! Run, motherfucker, run! Fuck up out of here. Oh yeah, press one. I was I missed one. Oh, that hurts. Deep off in the meat. Give me control back. Gotta get the fuck up out of here. We bleeding, honey. We bleeding. Oh, Lord. Because we never learned how to do it. Oh, fuck. Ride like the wind, Henry. Ride like the wind. Left. Almo gets to the left along the stream. Run, bitches. Run, motherfucker, run. Fleet to Talmberg. Riding like the wind, son. Trying to light our ass up. I, I wish I could do a quick look back. I need to figure out if there's a control for that. I'd kind of like to see where they are right this second. How close they are on my ass. Uh -oh, my horse is getting tired. Hey, Emily. I can't hear you. I got... Okay. My daughter's trying to talk to me and I got these earbuds in my ears. I can't hear shit. Run, motherfucker. What you standing there for? Get the hell up out of here. Keep waiting on people to scream out stuff like they do in GTA. I've played it for so long. <laughs> hey, honey. Okay, we made it. They ride on his ass, too.
want a helmet like that. That's got intimidation built into it. I do wish we could have got in on the fight to try to save our parents, but I know that lays the whole groundwork for the rest of the game, I'm sure. Don't give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. That has to hurt. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that arrow out. Oh, shit. And I guess we blacked out. For a second. <laughs> Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? <coughs> there you go. As good as new. <laughs> Thank you. Great. You get to start out crippled. You idlers, nothing better to do. Get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? survivor from I heard Robard tell me boy what exactly happened it's Uncle you Jesse the ensigns of the attackers and were there any more survivors so um, I don't know what army it was but it was huge there were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz the ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language they burned Scalitz to the ground but a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank and you for running like a bitch. Get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir.
So this has turned out to be a rather rough day for this young man. Oh, yay, we discovered our bed. It's not in here, though. Let's talk to Robard here. Oh, watch where you're going. Sorry. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard about your father. Tell me what they say he was a swordsmith who moved I have the countryside I can't understand. I gotta go eat, lady. He had a fine reputation. He's a great man. Ah, uh, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Tomberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul, after everything he's been through? He must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. He sure does get smitten with the ladies, doesn't he? When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. But of course. All right, let's get us some food. We're going to get all the food because, you know, it's there. Apparently we're starving, all of a sudden. Oh, hello. All right, let's uh, let's eat some stuff here then. Uh, we haven't cooked the chicken, so we can't eat it. Let's see. Let's just sort by food. Um, And we'll eat that. Our nourishment is really low. Nourishment's over on the right hand side. There are all those different little stats. Uh, let's eat some more roast duck. All right, nourishment's at 95. We should be good there. Hmm. Yeah, don't fall asleep yet, Henry. We're not through pillaging the food. We're going to eat it all, every bit of it. We don't want to rob the place. Not just yet. Oh shit! Okay, we got to uh, we got to find our sleeping spot. Apparently, Henry's about to pass the fuck out. 
that ain't it. Oh, this one's open. Guessing this is going to be our bed for the night. Can we close the damn window? No. Apparently not. Alright, nothing for us to pillage in here. Alright, let's get us a good night's sleep. Let's see here. Um, it's been a long day. Let's go for 10 hours. What the fuck? Today the patrols will be double. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes? A uh, shello. It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? My lady, uh, um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just oh yeah, let's get some wine. <laughs> yeah, no glittery. I wish we could. Thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world, although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. Uh, my dog has to bark every time somebody walks. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I'm wondering if she's kind of sweet on him or something. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. I met my friend right next to the Scallet's Ale House. When we heard Deutsch praising Sigismund, our blood boiled. My mates decided to teach that fool to mind his tongue. So, thanks to us, Deutsch had to scrape horse shit off his newly whitewashed house. How foul. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I'd promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzi. Um, let's see. I'd been secretly learning sword fighting and hiding it from my parents. So when we assembled the sword, I tried a few moves with it. There's a big difference between a wooden sword and a real one. Maybe if I hadn't taken that sword in my hand, I wouldn't be here today. You're full of surprises. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Sigismund's cavalry was composed of humans. They're diabolical barbarians from the east, with no regard for the rules of warfare. Bloodthirsty cutthroats. The very fact Sigismund has them with him shows what a tyrant he is. Well, I don't know. Oh, shit. And then death descended on Scalitz. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. 
she was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. They said that twice, I think. And he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Townburg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Townburg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. <laughs> the mill wench. Been caught by a gang of human savages <laughs> who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. Yes, just like a valiant knight. <laughs> it will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors he went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Townburg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Trigislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. Rough times. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Oh so Lord. Divish seems like a good, strong man. Certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Townburg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. 
Your best years are still ahead of you. Don't be getting mixed up in that shit, Henry. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Tell you, Henry, don't be getting mixed up in that shit. Don't be falling for that, boy. Better go your ass to sleep. We learned women in the Middle Ages. How awesome. <laughs> have the nightmare sequence. This poor fella can't even have a good rest or sleep. Wake up. You don't want to miss this. Oh, what is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scallops. <laughs> this poor bastard, he can't get no sleep or nothing, man. Oh, Lord. Take a torch from the table. Yeah, we will do. Let's see. We light our torch, go out here and see what's what. The hell is all this? Oh, here we go again. Getting stuck in the damn doors. Why is this happening? I don't get it. You know what? I changed my uh, my FOV. Let me try changing my FOV back again. Nope, that doesn't help. What the fuck is this even? <laughs> Holy fuck. I don't get it. I don't understand why that is happening. Because if I can't go in places, that's going to piss me off. And now we're getting tired from all the jumping and shit. What the fuck? Alright, well, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Let's just set this shit on fire. How about that? our sword back up then we don't want to provoke fear what in the fuck is going on with this though oh I know I wish it could Buddha definitely I don't know why this is doing this shit 
Yeah, well, I did a combination of jumping and running and all that shit to get out of one earlier. But it's not working this time. There we go. Jesus Christ. I want to explore around a little bit and see if there's any good shit I can get when nobody's paying attention. But I don't really want to get stuck in stuff either. Oh shit. Sleeping women. Sorry, ladies. Let's go see what is it we're supposed to do here. shield I'll take that and that <laughs> easy titty grabbing huh there Buddha <laughs> Alright, can we get any of this shit? Can't lockpick any of that. I don't have lockpicks. I do like the graphics though. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Here's a bow and some more arrows. Wish we could lock pick some stuff. I want to see if I can get these arrows here. Yes, I can. I'm just becoming a regular old thief with this shit. Uh oh, my uh, my inventory is getting a little little rough here. I'm encumbered. Let's see. We've got apples losing their freshness there. Let's eat us some apples. Get our nourishment up real quick. That's right. Be stealing it all, honey. Oh, hold on, I don't want to go there yet. I'm going to keep poking around real quick. Get more stuffs. I mean, I like how they thought to put this area in here, right? This is what raises and lowers the drawbridge. I think that's pretty neat. I there we go. I should have fled to the woods. What's up, gentlemen? What'd it do? God be with you. You too. Do you know what's happening? No. What about you? Well me. How could I? I saw you with Sir Robot. Didn't he tell you anything? No, nothing. Not a thing. Hmm. 
Well, Buddha, the you know when I when I did my little test to see how it would work on my system, um, I didn't have any problems going in and out of doors. This is a, a new problem. By their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. All right, we're gonna go talk to them in just a minute. You don't know this country like we do. We could hide out somewhere. I'm gonna do a little bit more exploring here and see if I can find any good stuff. Going back in there, I don't want to get stuck. I don't know whose area this is. Oh shit, there's people in here sleeping. Yeah, they got a pretty good little fort. Hello, ma'am. Sorry, excuse me. Pardon me. All right, there's nobody in here. Is there any... I'm just wondering if I can find any weapons or anything. Any better armor. If I have, like, zero armor. Damn it, no lock picks. Be raining his ass off down here. sleeping shh y'all be quiet we don't want to wake his ass up oh we can sleep in here what the hell <laughs> all right let's see if we can get up here i don't want to wake this fella up i don't want to get caught snooping around in there little fort here I can't do shit. Well, maybe my idea is not going to work. I was just thinking they would have some armor laying around or something. I'm just not seeing any. Sorry. Shit, I woke him up. Let's get moving. Wasn't there another one of these somewhere, though? Oh, shit. Okay. So that's how you whistle. Didn't intend to, but now we know. Horse shit. I mean, I see all this stuff that says it's easy to lockpick, but we have zero lockpicks, so it can be easy all it wants to. I still can't do nothing with it. I mean, there's horses. There's people talking. I don't guess there's anything for me to get. Damn it. All right, well, let's go touch base with them here. See what our next little task is going to be. Well, I'll take the blame. That's probably why 
They attacked so quick, so we wouldn't have time to join forces. Talk to Sir Ray Bard. Hey! What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmog in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the rain on Scalitz. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts give his sent to Scalitz to spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. Not like that. There goes my dog. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here. Won't we? My early well, warning system. Know. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Radzik, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Right. God, a brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left to storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the streets. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish? Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! Gentlemen, people, move out! It's only a short way to right there now. Well, some of them made it. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in the body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. 
Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalus people, now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes here. Report everything to me at once. Understood? All right. Are you serious? The fuck, dude? You ran into me, you dumbass. Yeah, Tom, our dog barks anytime somebody opens the door. We're upstairs right now. And uh, I believe my wife just got home, so she heard the door and had to bark, you know. But I think we're uh, I think we're at a pretty good stopping point here, folks. What my plan is is to. Uh, hey, I need to have a word with you. Okay, Sir Robard, give me just a minute. So what my plan is is we're going to do a playthrough on this. Um, not sure how often I'll get a chance to stream it, but we'll pick up right here where we left off and uh, and see what else we can get into. Surely there's going to be some more. Uh, some revenge coming we know that we've got to get back to scallops to try to bury our mother and father and uh see what may be left there so that's what we'll do i hope that you guys enjoyed it i know uh i know that i did um if uh if you did make sure that uh that you kind of let me know down there uh let me know in my discord as well uh, i'm not sure if i put that in there but i think i've got a uh oh i can't spell it right Anyway, for those of you that aren't in my Discord, you can join it right there. Uh, link is in the chat there. I would appreciate that. And, uh, guys, we're going to go ahead and head out. I hope that you enjoyed it. And we'll, uh, we'll be doing some more of this. I really enjoy this game. I like, the, uh, I like the story aspect of it. So looking forward to some more. I'll see you guys uh, on the next one. Thanks a lot. Y'all have a great one. Bye-bye.